I think what makes this house special is that uh, I thought we were able to achieve it and create these spaces that seamlessly move into one another where the outside and the inside become equally important and create this uh, seamless transitions from built to unbuilt. There's a phrase in English called nooks and corners. So uh, our take on that was we've removed all the corners and turned them into gardens. And that's why we call this a house of uh, nooks and gardens. Hi, I'm uh, architect Advita Suvarna from Collage Architecture Studio. I'm one of the principal architects there. And today we are here uh, at our project that we call the house of nooks and gardens. Conceptually, what we wanted from the project was to, to create a set of uh, spaces that were in conversation with nature. And each space, we wanted it to react with nature in a very unique way. So that's what we have attempted to do in this project. So we designed this four bedroom villa for this uh, family of five. The house is designed on a plot which is approximately about 4,000 square feet. It is uh, located in Bangalore. So this was the tree towards the northeast, which was this large rain tree, created a canopy along the northeast corner of the site. This arrival court, so basically it's a series of steps that are set in landscape. And uh, this leads you to the main door, where we've used these uh, glass with slats, which gives you a peek into the house before you enter it. So you enter into the foyer, which is like a low height volume. And uh, what you immediately start seeing is the coat, rear coat. The foyer and the living are separated through this water body. We have tried to create uh, these marble steps that look like they are floating. Currently, we are in that uh, transition space from the foyer to the living room. When it came to the detailing, like even when you place your leg so we were very mindful of the gaps between the slab and also it's actually on a proper foundation. Basically, it's on a concrete slab on which it's cast, but then we have taken care that the thicknesses are offset it. So uh, the living room foyer, the water body and the rear courts form the more public realm. Whereas uh, the kitchen, the dining and the bedroom become more of the private realm. The kitchen in the southwest, like an open-ended kitchen, where we have uh, an island counter with a breakfast counter, and that extends to form the dining area. Now the dining area is like opens out into this garden terrace at upper level. There's a level difference between the living and dining, which is where the central courtyard is planned. And these are the large steps that almost create an amphitheater-like effect. So this becomes our central courtyard, which is basically the heart of the project and it and also brings in light into the entire house. And adjoining the central courtyard, in front of it is the puja space. Now the puja space is basically kept as transparent as possible. Uh, basically a space that disappears, people who are very traditional. Uh, so their idea of celebrations is puja and family events. So this almost, uh, this space almost functions like an amphitheater in those areas where the puja becomes the stage. Now going on to the upper level, what we've done is we've created this staircase which is cantilevered in wood. Yeah, so we have uh, two, three levels in this where we can use this as a family space for interaction. So the backdrop of the staircase is, this is an abstract of that elevation, what we see in the dense forest, where we see vertical lines and the branches. So when we have, uh, when we get sunlight here, we get a shadow on the wall, which looks like a shadow of trees. So at the upper level, uh the three bedrooms for the family are planned. So there's the master bedroom, the daughter's bedroom, and the son's bedroom, and the family area that uh, was a double height space, which connected to the upper level terrace garden. So 
So from the double height area, actually you start getting glimpses of this terrace. It was essentially planned as a party kind of space, which had two parts. One where we had the soft landscape. It was planned to take in this uh, lawn. The terrace garden is interspersed with these uh, glass slabs of the skylights. Now the master bedroom, though it was it was in the southwest corner as a requirement of Vastu, since the master bedroom fell to the back of the site and we didn't have any views towards the southwest corner, so we thought we could have an inward looking uh, bedroom. So uh, this becomes the garden space, which is which almost is like a double height uh, garden within the room and it's completely private so this doesn't open to any part of the house so it's a completely private space within the bedroom from the family area you take this bridge which connects to the daughter's bedroom so the son's balcony even though it was on the front side facing the road we didn't want to open anything up towards the roadside because that would compromise on the privacy aspect of it so we have opened it out towards the northeast corner where it is completely becomes a private space which overlooks green entry court as well as this uh, large tree so in terms of uh, choice of materials what we've done is uh, uh, choose materials that are timeless so uh, the idea was to keep uh, a muted palette of with tones of grey offset with white. When you want uninterrupted views to the inside and the outside and when we are talking about the outside being as important as the inside, glass plays a pivotal role where that is the element that really helps us to blur those boundaries. Yeah, so we have used glass almost like a security element, I would say, without blocking any views. It, most of the glasses that you see are uh, laminated glass because we haven't used any kind of grill. And uh, the remaining, the railings are toughened glass. And the puja room, which is the soul of the house, also is made of glass, where we have detailed it differently. Light is a very big building material in this. So we have used it almost like a building material where it has like a very tactile kind of nature where you can touch and feel that light because it's so strong.